Oh, what's up guys? Um, we got a broken heater. So, had some guests staying and they said the heater is not working. So, it's a lovely fall day outside. It's spooky as, it's a pretty spooky place down here. Um, okay, so, I got this heater here. And it's propane. And, um, just check the the outlet here. I just plugged in a multimeter, and um, very strangely, it's reading like 20 volts. So that to me smells like you know, something like an open neutral, something like that. Um, so I traced this electrical wire. <laughs> to this socket it's just pretty much just hanging out like this i mean there's a bit of a cover on it but it's pretty much what's going on there's a line that goes to the left here i have no idea where it goes i can't really find what plug it's connected to it doesn't seem to do much and i'll go to the breaker box here it does seem to route route to the furnace, so that's a good sign. Um, the loads seem to be somewhat balanced here, so it's not a big problem. Doesn't seem like so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna test a bunch of these wires and see see what's what's up. Black is hot, and right away. I'm coming into this wire nut here. And where do the wires from the wire nut go? Well, one of them goes that way. And the other one goes into here. Um, and then that one goes here to the neutral. So basically all of the black wires are turning into neutral white wires before they hit any kind of resistive load. Um, which means whatever is going in that direction, or is going in that direction, actually appear to be functioning in series rather than in parallel which seems very odd to me because that means if whatever is connected to this mystery wire um is uh open circuit then the furnace isn't gonna work and because there's reverse polarity happening i think it also opens up the possibility of um, current going on the neutral, which is what I was observing. So, I don't know, I need to double check this because it's a little complicated how it's wired, but on first glass, this just seems like a really uh, sort of dangerous and um, confusing way to wire something. Okay, so I'm going to try to simplify this. So, got the input here. Uh, 120 AC. The first thing that happens is, okay, so we've got the hot. And the hot appears to go to the neutral of this, like, line that doesn't appear to be connected to anything and then um this hot appears to go to this so we've got kind of neutral going here <laughs> and then this goes back 
here. So, in order to get power to the furnace, it goes reverse polarity here, or this is reversed. It goes to some mystery thing, which I think is likely just an open circuit. And then this black is actually functioning as neutral. is going here um, then it's going through the furnace and coming back here so it's a pretty diagram but this seems obviously wrong um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of this and I'll just redraw this here. I'm just going to go like this. Boop. Boop. Furnace. And then input. Woohoo! Yep, yeah, so you gotta remove everything connected to this wire doesn't seem to be necessary for anything and I'm gonna simplify all this stuff and just because it's then it should just be two connections uh, should work so I'm just gonna get going on that oh I figured out what this thing is I think I think this used to be part of a, a smoke detector or something so um, that's why I had this kind of confusing connection between these, but this just doesn't seem to be needed at the moment, so I'm gonna remove that too. And um, since I guess I don't know if there's a shared neutral going that way or some other circuit, I'm just gonna play it safe and I'm gonna test all the voltages on the hot and the neutral and versus the ground, even though the breaker's off. I just wanna be super careful is uh yeah shared neutral you can get shocked so don't want to do that okay turn this shit off okay so just to be safe i'm just checking neutral to neutral seems good Whoop. ground to so it's just reading like tenth of a volt or something like that and then oh. yep so and then uh neutral to hot again like 1.3 okay so that looks good i will proceed with caution all right so i got all these wire nuts disconnected so now it's the this line the furnace input um, so I'm just gonna remove this completely so I'm just gonna unscrew those and remove it and I'm gonna turn the breaker on and just test the input power just to make sure that it's correct okay Get out of the yank. okay and it's out okay turn on the furnace I'm just going to test the input voltage here. Okay. Input voltage is good. 120 volts AC. Okay. So now that we know there's power coming in, I'm just going to connect everything up. So ground to ground. Hot to hot and neutral to neutral and that should make a nice circuit with the furnace and hopefully our furnace works and a good electrician would do this a lot better than me but i'm just using these pinch pliers to just turn the wires on themselves if we're putting the nut on and you can see it's decent okay we got 
uh, three twisted wires here and I'm just gonna put some nuts on. All right, got the nuts on, just had to twist them on. I'm gonna check the voltage at the furnace. All right, let's flip it on. Let's see if we got power. Boom, there you go, 120. Okay, so just going back to my diagram. So if you remember, this is how it was originally wired. You can kind of see that the effect is that it's wired in series. So sure what we had here, actually, now that we have that new piece of information, that those are not connected, was, so we had that connected to that. Um, we had that connected to that, and that's it. These were open. So that's uh, open hot. And then of course, that's that's what we fixed it to. So that's working now. We just connected the hot, and now it works. So broken, fixed. All right. Thanks for watching.